Hey everyone, it's KK, and today I'm doing a challenge with Sandra, who is Osnap Gonzo here on YouTube. And our challenge was to use a silhouette die cut and to also use numbers in our title. So I'm starting out with this die cut here that was actually one, and I took two of them and kind of stacked them and welded them to make them move along the diagonal. And then I gessoed it and used some watercolors to add some color to it. This beautiful blue cardstock is what I'm going to use to mat everything on. And I just went ahead and took some vellum and filled in those hearts so that that way it would have some more weight. This photo that I'm going to be using is a photo of our cat Luca. And Luca is a cat that we got when she was older and we didn't have her very long. She took ill suddenly and we had to put her down. And I have some pictures lying around of her and so sometimes I just pull them out and scrap them. Um, I miss her a lot. She was a very sweet cat. So I'm taking this kind of aqua and blue cardstock and I'm going to create kind of a really tight mat around the photograph. And I'm just going to do that because the photo is, is kind of smaller because it's a 4x4 four four, and so I just want to add some bulk to it. I thought this bird paper would be appropriate considering it was Luca that I was scrapping. And I created a, a wider mat with this and the reason for that is I wanted you to be able to tell that they were birds and not just see the colors. So if you notice at the top corners on each of those, you can tell that that's a bird that's on the pattern paper. So I wanted to make sure that that was clear. Now I'm just going to come in and add my title and I'm putting this label down just to give my title somewhere to rest. And once I get that down, I'm going to add 24 seven to that. And that's going to be the title because that is the amount of time that this baby loved to nap. She was always nappy. So I have this tag up here at the top, right? And I'm just trying to create some balance. Now what I don't want to do is cover up a ton of that die cut because I want it to remain the focal point. And I've got these Dear Lizzie kind of puffy vinyl stickers and I've had them forever and I've never used them. So I dug them out and I decided I want another layer up there. So I take that pink tag from my stash and I'm just going to layer it there. And I'm going to move this puffy sticker because I want it to cover all three of those layers, both tags and the photo mats. So once I do that, I feel like it's at a good place. I also have these glittery hearts from Pebbles and they came with like 200 in a package so I have tons of those to use up. Now once I've done that if the eye keeps moving diagonal I feel like it's kind of floating off the page and I have this big open space to the left hand side so what I decided was to add one more little cluster there so I just took my tag punch in that paper that I used to mat the photo and punched out a tag along with a circle from the vellum that I used in the heart. And I really wanted to use some more of these XO and heart stickers from Dear Lizzie, but I couldn't figure out how to make them work down here. So what I did instead is where I have that heart that was actually die cut from the silhouette and watercolored, I go ahead and take that off and replace it with an X and O up there. And I'm really happy with the way that that turned out. I just like the way that looks there. And I'm so sorry my hair is in the way. I just, I guess I had the camera at a bad angle. So I'm just going to take a few more of those hearts and just sprinkle them around the page just again to create some movement and add some different texture. Now once I do that, the last thing I'm going to add are some enamel dots and these are from Pebbles as well. They have some really large ones, some medium ones and some small ones. And that one aqua one that I just laid down is a medium one and then the other two are smaller. And in the other two clusters, I'm just going to use the small ones. I'm not really sure how I'm going to use the large ones on there, but I think I have an idea and hopefully I'll be able to try it soon. But they are really large enamel dots. One thing I really enjoy about using die cuts for my silhouette like this is I feel like the majority of the work is done for me. Um, you know, I, like I said, I didn't want to add a lot over that die cut. I wanted it to remain the focal point along with the photo. So there's not a lot of embellishing to be done. So I really enjoy that. It makes everything go so quickly. So like I mentioned, this is part of a challenge that I'm doing with Sandra, who is Osnap Gonzo here on YouTube. I'm going to link her channel down below and go over and have a look and see what she did with a silhouette die cut and using numbers in her title. For me, this is it. Thank you so much for watching. Here are some still shots. I hope to see you around here soon. 
Take care until next time. Bye-bye.